From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is the Midday Report on LA Late. It's a big, 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 big midday, a big home, LA, with the incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. In this recording, we'll go over the latest details, of course, with what's unfolding in Ukraine and Russia. As Russian troops take Ukraine by the weekend, but will they not be successful as nearly 2,000 Russian troops have died in war, the largest fatality count for Russian troops since the Cold War began? We're going to go over the latest details on what's going on with that later in this recording, but we'll be looking at your Build Back Better Act that is getting better and getting built better by the moment. It has lots of checks in there, upwards of $60,000 of checks. I'll explain all those incredible checks in today's recording. We'll be looking then at the CR for Simulus 1 and 2.0 that has huge checks in there, but they need to be allocated across the board correctly. $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds in the CR for Stimulus 1.0. And the breaking news today at noontime is at Home LA today is that they're staying in there and the elements that tried to take the money yesterday aren't getting to it. Wow, it's great news. Well, the latest update on CR for Stimulus 2.0, 3.0, and 4.0, the Russian sanctions bill and the Ukraine funding bill. Will they get merged or will they not get merged? We have brand new details, I told you, that would be coming in today right at this moment, and it just came in about where inflationary numbers are heading and how this could impact your SS300 and SS400, raising your money across the board. But you know what Home Allied is about? It is about half of the first recording, about your stimulus in the second half, about keeping it spicy, nutty, and sugary. Today, we're making it a little bit spicier as we figure out how to bring certain staples into the cabinet to make sure they have them in the household. A lot of different op opportunities to get your poultries, meats, desserts, even your noshing better, delicious, savory, and more scintillating with the stimulus. All those incredible details coming up in the second half of this video, but first through big money. It's here on Noontime, it's here on Home, it's here on Street and Stimulus, and the excitement starts right now. Hey, good day, everybody. Hope you are good. In Back in Ukraine and Russia, Russian troops are trying to take the capital of Ukraine by the weekend, but may not succeed as Ukrainian forces recaptured the airport back from Russian forces overnight. And fatality counts among Russians are growing staggeringly. 2,000 currently lost. We'll have the latest details on how Russia and Ukraine impact your wallet, specifically at the gas pump. Breaking details today in this recording. We'll be starting first, however, with the Build Back Better Act. Big checks across the board, upwards of sixty to fifty thousand dollars of checks. Then we'll go over the latest breaking details about CR for Simulus One, Two, Three, and Four Point Oh. Brand new details, and it's huge. Then we have that big economic data that came in minutes ago. It impacts your SS three hundred that would potentially raise your benefits up an additional three hundred dollars a month. I have a lot of breaking news. I'm excited you're here. But first, I need you to be part of the Decredible family. Go under this video right now and hit that subscribe button. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Let's go right into the breaking news of Build Back Better, where we are right now. Build Back Better has lots of checks in there, at least $15,000, but upwards of $60,000. And every check that's in there, Joe Biden wants to go out right away. He's doing a lot of stuff at the same time. If you turn it into broadcast media right now, he's talking about his Supreme Court nominee. So he's doing a lot of stuff. Do not think he's only just doing Ukraine and Russia. He's not just doing one item. And these are these checks in the Build Back Better. He wants to go out three clusters and three add-ons. Let's look at each of those. He's ready to send out right away, including those add-ons. Hazard Pay got in there. One more year, the earning income tax credit for essential workers. Third stimulus. $4,000 of Evercare got it in there. One more year. Uh, across the board for the CTC, $3,600 as well. 
They got in there the $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle and $550 for my college students on the Pell Grant. They got money in there to repair your home if you live in a low-income community. And a lot of great checks across the board in that first cluster. Now, there are three add-ons of checks. And the first one is one that is so exciting to so many viewers of this channel. It's money for the purchase of your first home, given from the federal government to the seller in your name at the time of escrow. It comes from here in Southern California. Maxine Waters got it in there. A little bit less than $25,000 for the purchase of your first home. Wow, it's incredible. Now, with that, let's get ready to rock and roll right into the second cluster of checks. And that second cluster of checks has in there home repairs and paid leave. Home repairs to weatherize your home. Paid leave, a lot of money, $700 a week on the high end, if you make $70,000 or more per year, it's huge. With that, let's look at now that second add-on. It checks $250 billion of it for free home health care and free people on disabilities. And then that third cluster checks, that's where we find deliciousness. If you want to learn about more of these individual checks in each of these clusters, stay tuned to Afternoons I Like, which is right after this recording. And you want to get big money today? Tens of thousands of dollars, say to the very end of this recording, I'm going to show you how viewers are clean up with additional big sums of money this week. You want $10,000 to go in the weekend? Stay to the very end of this video. It's coming up in just a second. So seniors and free internet in third cluster. They got free internet for all. Checks, farmers checks, independent contractors checks, uh, cheaper prescription medication checks, and then seniors. Two checks on the house, three coming on the sad side. On the house side, they got in there the Medicaid gap fix, which would provide low-income uninsured people medical coverage in those 12 Republican holdout states, and they got the hearing checks in there so that you get hearing aids across the board. The senators vow to add three other checks for my seniors, dental, vision, and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare from 65 as low as down to 55. And that is what the senators vow to add, but they're not done there yet. They have a third add-on to add in there. And what is that? If you're in the live chat right now, write those letters. And those letters I see someone writing, MSC. This is a monthly IRS stimulus check. The legislators want to put those checks in there, and they want to do it a little bit more than ever before, because guess what? You see a new element of bipartisan support where Republicans and Democrats want to give you money because inflationary concerns are heating up. And let's go over what these MSCs are. Monthly IRS stimulus checks where the checks go out automatically to adults. Children already get checks from the CTC. These are checks whose eligibility is the same as a third stimulus check, says Sanchez to tens of thousands of viewers of this channel since last spring. And who does that mean? Single individuals, $75,000 less annual income, you get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less annual income, you get it, but it'll be double because there's two of you. Family of four, you get it as well, quadruple it. If you're on Bevitz, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rail Bevitz, you would get it as well, and also my veterans. It's not income. It's not taxable. It's offered nationwide, and you don't have to pay it back. <laughs> One viewer in the live chat two days ago said, my fiance says you have to pay it back. No, but I think you need to return the engagement ring. Look at the 30-day return policy. Just need to find a new fiance. He needs to know what he's doing. <laughs> this is not a good start to our relationship. Not our relationship, your relationship with him. <laughs> You're going to still be a viewer. And there you go. MSC, how much money? $2,000 a first month, $1,000 thereafter for up to six months. So the senators had an opportunity to add it in there during the Senate subcommittee. But the question is then, where is that Senate subcommittee? Well, the Senate subcommittee would modify the House bill that already has fifty dollars to $60,000 of checks and add more in there, then call for a bill vote, then have a two-day voterama. But that hasn't happened. So four weeks ago, I brought back on this channel CR for Stimulus. It made history on this channel. We made history. I made history. You made history when it became a law in 2020. What is CR for Stimulus? The concept is inserting a stimulus check into to continue resolution or something like it. The idea was the following. When negotiations are not going well, gets a check out quicker with something that's small. And three weeks ago, well, actually now it's four weeks ago, I brought it back on this channel. And boy, it's now birthed. See offer symbols 1, 2, 3, and 4.0. Let me tell you the update about 1.0. First, let's go over what a CR for stimulus is. A CR for stimulus, the original version in 2020, was to insert a stimulus check into the second, into the continuing resolution, which then had a deadline in December 2020. Why? Because the continuing resolution has inherent deadlines, just a few days, a few weeks, maybe a month. Number two, it's bipartisan. Number three, it's small. And it gets done. We got it. I came up with the idea. 
put it in there. You advocated, you pushed, and we made history together. $600 stimulus check was delivered to Americans in the continuing resolution in December 2020 across the board. Second stimulus thereafter fell apart. Never had a bill, never had a vote, never had a check. Thank goodness was CR for stimulus. So I brought it back on this channel four weeks ago, and now we have now seen three, no, four versions thereafter. Let's go over the latest breaking details on each of them very fast, starting right now. CR for stimulus 1.0. This is the original version that starts with any ACR, continuing resolution. Its inherent deadline is still early March, so it's still on point. Is it rolling over? No, it's unlikely to roll over again. Number two. It has $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds in there. This is huge because $1.5 trillion of discretionary funds is enough for a $2,000 stimulus check for you. This is not negating. It's not throwing away Build Back Better for stimulus recon. It's just a way to get you another check earlier. Number three, discretionary funds means that the discretion is at the hands of the cabinet members, including Jad Yellen, the head of Treasury, head of IRS. And what's the breaking news about this just at noontime at home, at home street and stimulus right today? The breaking news is that since 24 hours ago, forces that were trying to take these funds and use them for themselves have failed. You gotta thank Patrick Leahy for this. What happened? Yesterday on Afternoon's Highlight, I told you that two groups, one White House, second restaurant union, were trying to take some of this money for themselves. The White House wanted for more COVID testing. The restaurant union wanted for their restaurants. Both were blocked at the door. So that is good news. So the money is still dedicated for discretionary funds of $1.5 trillion, which is enough for a stimulus check. So the money is still there, thankfully, because of Leahy. Uh, I've run more of his comments directly that are brand new today on the 3 o'clock afternoon show today. But I still need you to advocate. Why? Because while the funds are still there, while the funds are still discretionary, and while it's enough for a stimulus check, you still don't want people who have discretion over the funds to use it in a way that's not on you. And so you want to pick up the phone and advocate to those senators we feature on this channel on advocating on a regular basis. Casey Coons, Warren Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer. But please include Leahy, that's L-E-A-H-Y, out of Vermont. You want them to send out a check. And say it professionally respectfully, but basically this is what you're saying. You promised us multiple checks in the Build Back Better. It's been 11 months. We don't have a deal on Build Back Better. We need these checks right now. You want to hold your Senate seats? You want to gain new Senate seats or House seats on your political party? Give us a check. We've had your back on Build Back Better, supported it. We have not gotten compensated. We need a check right now. Inflationary concerns are really at issue. All right, that is CR for Stimulus 1.0. Good news on that. Now, Good news for us on CR for Stimulus 4.0, but bad news for Ukraine. Let's go over what's happening with this one. This one's a little strange, so let me slow it down for you. This is the Russian sanctions bill that was supposed to be done weeks ago. And now it's being sort of morphed into both sanctions of Russia and also providing assistance to military operations in Ukraine to battle invasion from, Ukraine, from Russia. Pretty simple, yeah. So... We're not doing well, or let's say who is we. Senators are not taking care of Ukrainian citizens or the Ukrainian country well because this money should have been sent out weeks ago. They already called this vote weeks ago. And now there's concerns that by the weekend, Ukraine may fall to the Russians. Why send the money out after your country has fallen? It doesn't make any sense. Now, the only part of the story that's sadly bad for Ukraine but good for us is that breaking news today is that Leahy... Uh, and other legislators like Ron Wyden and Schiff all understand that if you want to provide money to Ukraine and sanction Russia, keep it as a separate bill, keep it away from the continuing resolution. So this is good for us, bad for Ukraine. Ukraine should have had the assistance weeks ago, as we need our assistance for the continuing resolution as well. But the good news is that they're keeping them separate. All right, let's go then to CR for Symbols 2 and 3.0. Those are emerging in the Senate the House passed it with Pete Aguilar. Pieces of economic legislation, they went to go out across the board. And those pieces of economic legislation are among those items that those legislators wanted to give you. Those pieces of economic legislation will be merged in the Senate because bipartisan support is now at issue to solve inflation. And with that, let's turn then to the exciting breaking news about 
SS300 and SS200 and 400. What's at issue? I'm going to go over broadly what it is very quickly, but then I'm going to go over the numbers. SS200 and SS300 is the opportunity of a lifetime to raise your benefits up if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, and Veterans benefits. We first were told about it in campaign promises by Elizabeth Warren in January 2020. She said if she's elected, she would give it to you. She withdrew her run for president, and after she withdrew her run, then Joe Biden says, I will do that policy. I like it. I will do Liz's policy. He got elected. He won the general election, and in his transition paper, still posted at JoeBiden.com, he said, you need this money desperately. Folks, at that time, there was no inflation. At that time, we were just dealing with COVID. We're in a worse situation right now. There's an additional $200 a month on top of your existing benefits. Well, three weeks ago, I delivered on this channel how Joe Biden can do this by picking up the phone and calling the Social Security Administrator saying, hey, replace COLA with inflation. You replace COLA with inflation, immediately benefits will go up $200 a month. But why? Because inflation is about 8% right now. And then... If inflation does stay at about 4% in December, which is where I'm analyzing it's going to be, that would be another $100. That means that next January, you'd see about $300 more per month of more for your benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, Veterans benefits. And if it goes up, you know, 1% or 2% the year after that, then maybe another $40 a month, SS400. Joe Biden should do it. And guess what? There is new economic data that comes in today that suggests you want him to do it right away. Why? It's the data about where inflation is. I told you Friday was going to be a big economic data day. We have a lot going on. You may think Ukraine and Russia is the number one topic, but this may be the number one topic for you. It is not an inflation number. It's an inflationary gauge number, which tells you where inflation is going to land. Spring of last year, I told you inflation was going to be 8% in December 2021 when the Federal Reserve and Wall Street were saying 1% to 2% temporary. I said they're wrong. It's going to be 8%. It's not going to be temporary. It came at 7.5% December 2021. I was right. That month, I said, it's not temporary. It's not going down. Well, since then, we've had the producer price index, which came at about 10%, showed it we're not going down. But we're looking for this number. We were looking for this number and came in just minutes ago. And it shows us it's not going down. The This is the uh, preferred core PCE measure. This is what the Federal Reserve uses for determining its policies. And it rose 5.2% year to date, the highest annual raise since 1983. Ouch, ouch, really high. Uh, food and energy went up 6.1%, the highest growth in since 1982, really out of control. Now, consumer spending did go up as well, higher than anticipated. So what does this mean? This means that Inflation is not going down. We're likely 8% or higher right now. And that means that Joe Biden needs to do this SS300 right away because your benefits would go up that additional $200 a month right now. Because guess what, folks? It's costing more to live by the minute. And you're, you're, if, you, if, you are, uh, if your son or daughter works and they get a salary, their salary check is not going as far as it used to go because it costs about $300 a month more to live some states, the inflation rate is at 12%. Now, there is good news on another front, and that good news on the other front is the oil barrel numbers. You'll be seeing me stay with these numbers a lot over the next two weeks. You need to stay with me on these numbers. Remember these numbers because it impacts your ability to spend money. You may not drive, but if oil and gas gets, if, 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 if oil gets out of control, this is what's going to happen. We're going to have spiraling inflation, a recession, and stagflation. So you don't want oil to get any more out of control where it is right now. Where is it right now? The benchmark we use is called the Brent crude price per barrel. We're currently about $100 a barrel, okay? The, the government under Joe Biden had a great announcement, actually two announcements yesterday. The first one was that he's trying to bring it down to about $93 a barrel by releasing more of the money from the strategic reserve. These are barrels of gasoline the government has stored, to, and when they float them, when they release them, it brings down the price of gasoline at the pump. Good news for you. The second good news was the statement by the president that he will go after, criminally prosecute, any U.S. manufacturer 
uh, or, or pipeline distributor of gasoline that tries to stick it to you at the pump. What's at issue? Now that Russian sanctions are underway, and Russia is normally a big supplier of gasoline to the United States, as Ukraine, that gasoline is no longer in our supply options. So with less gasoline here, the U.S. manufacturers could raise prices. He's not going to allow it, Joe Biden. So that is great news. He's now allowing them to stick it to you with prices. The other great news, which is not really right here at the moment, is that there's indication that Joe Biden may have a deal with Iran, a nuclear agreement that has been months in the works. That nuclear agreement, if solidified, would then allow Iranian oil to come back into our supply chain, bring down the price of gasoline at the pump enormously, because then we'd have millions millions of oils of gasoline from Iran that we have blocked because of uh, of negotiations over nuclear agreements. That's huge. And it's all brand new today. What I want you to understand is that the Federal Reserve is meeting next week, and it is looking at the numbers I just delivered to you about inflation. What's at issue? We really don't know. We have five meetings of the Federal Reserve this coming year, this year. Will there be five interest rate spikes and five meetings? Yes. But will the first one be a quarter basis point or will it be a half basis point? Many insiders today believe that the Ukrainian-Russia situation may cause the Federal Reserve not to do a half basis point next week. Folks, um, it's, it's all reading tea leaves at this point. We may have seven basis point lifts in five meetings. We may have a half basis point next week. It is a very, very difficult situation. And it's far from over. Now, what I want to go over now that I've gone over SS300 and I've gone over your four stimulus recon and the CR for stimulus, I also want to go over the incredible money that you can get right today. And guess what it is? It's third stimulus. I want you to get that money from third stimulus right today because it's available. Viewers are getting big sums of money. And my job here is to get you money. Um, and we have new success stories. Bob Bacon. He says, I scored three more months of rent from my church. Congratulations. Brian Donahue says, thank you. I just scored two more months of rent. Thank you, LA. So people's rent is usually, you know, $1,200, $1,400, $1,500. So if you see someone that got three more months of rent, that's another five, dollars $6,000. The day before that, Nisi, longtime viewer of the channel, who got $30,000 of rent, utilities, and SNAP back in the spring, got another $10,000. That was her message. Hey, I like got another seven thousand dollars for rent and three thousand dollars for utility. Mark, uh, Karen Joseph got forty thousand dollars this week. You want to go on the weekend with money? I bet you do. Get this third stimulus. I'm going to show you how to get it in just a second. So Karen got another forty thousand dollars across SNAP, utilities, and rent. So here is our updated, new, revamped version going slowly over the six places you reach out to, the three musts you must do. And how you got to rely on the nonprofits. You're ready? Get a pen, paper, and take notes with me. You want to reach out to your city hall, your city house authority, your county hall, and your county house authority. And the keywords you want to say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. There are three must you must do. You must get applications in all different places. You must reach out to all six places, and you must do multiple rounds. Do it today. Learn about more about this in the membership newsletter. It comes out tonight at 7 p.m. It's time for that membership newsletter. And in that membership newsletter, it mentions the nonprofits. Rely upon those nonprofits because those nonprofits help for these items and other items not covered in this video. And the nonprofits pick up where you may not find the money locally. Average view of the show has gotten $45,000 for third stimulus. If you haven't cashed these checks, you need to. It's available everywhere. It's for low income, middle class. Do it today. A lot of great details and a lot coming up in the second half of this video. In the second half of this video, we're going to be cutting back away from Russia, Ukraine, and having a little bit of fun. We'll be jumping in the live chat. And guess what we'll be doing? We'll be getting saucy. You know, either we're sugary, size, spicy, or saucy. Today, we're going to be, uh, you know, a little, bit of, a little bit of all of it. I'm going to go over items that you should have in your cupboards to bring the dishes you make at home, whether it's a very quick thing for the, for the basketball game for March Madness, or it's, you know, or it's a, a salmon filet you're making for the husband for tonight. I'm going to show you how to bring the meals just a little bit higher level 
and just adding something in the final two minutes of the cooking process. It's simple, it's fun, and it's items you may have never thought of before. It's coming up in the second half. As Home Allied, direct from Santa Monica, California, continues, I'll see you back in 60 seconds. With all of this incredible deliciousness, it's deliciousness with an H, remember? <laughs> but first, there's a little bit about the community page. I'll see you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues at the second half of Home LA right now. If you're watching at noontime live, I'm going to jump in the live chat with you right now and answer your questions. We'll be going over food, but also I'll answer your questions about the situation in Russia and Ukraine and your wallet and all these financial economic developments that are unfolding today. If you're watching at Home Stream Stimulus, then stay with me because coming up next after that is Evenings Extra. In the second half of this video, we're going to spice it up and bringing in those items into the pantry that are needed. Oh, boy. First, what items should you consider? I'm going to show you a series of items. And I'll show you how everything is different across the board. Capers. Did you ever think of keeping a bottle of capers in the cabinet? Bet you didn't. And I bet you thought they're expensive. They are not. Capers, when bought correctly from your online retailer, your big box online retailer, or in your big box department stores, uh, big box uh, uh, low discount supermarkets are very cheap. This bottle is less than $3. Capers are wonderful. The ingredients are capers, water, salt, distilled vinegar. We're not going to add any sugar. We're not a little bit of sodium, but that's about it. What do you do with capers? Again, these are among the items that you can add to a dish at the 11th hour, at the very, very end of the cooking process. Great for adding to your fishes. Great for adding to your poultry or your meats. You literally just throw it in the frying pan. If you're if you're sauteing or you're frying, you throw it in the frying pan at the eleventh hour. You do not want to cook them down. It's just something that you want to heat in the very end, cover it, and let it soak in. And it is true deliciousness. These are capers, and these um, and they also say um, they uh, they usually come in a sixteen fluid ounce container, and they're incredible. Um, they are often products of Turkey or Morocco. Wonderful. All right, let's do something on the other side of the spectrum. Very easy and fun. You may be watching some March Madness this weekend, getting ready for basketball season, out of football season, and you have some friends over, and all you got is chips, and that doesn't look good. I should have brought some olives. I have I have olives in the pantry here. Uh, black olives, pit it, hopefully. <laughs> Throw them in a dish, cut them in half, and then get some of this. Tostitos made with real mac cheese is really a great side thing. You literally just drizzle it on top of the nachos and throw some of those pitted olives on there, and you're ready to rock and roll. No one is going to say no to this because this is easy. Now, I like to see this as well because it can be used for a lot of other things in the house. So let's say you just want to do something on the on this on the uh, that's low carb. You just want to do celery sticks, carrot sticks. Do it as a quick dip. Or just put it right on top of it. 
a lot of the great Tostito products like this, I'm not being paid to say this, are great. They have a guacamole one that is also quite good. This is delicious. This is um, this is salsa con queso. That's the version of this one. And this is a lot of fun, a lot of simple stuff. So I'm showing you how to do things really easy. This is like a two-make fix. How, you know what, I have no time. I'm rushing around. I want to do something really quick across the board. All right, let's go to something a little bit more luxurious. If you have suggestions as well, jump in the live chat because I'm going to be jumping in there with you as well in just a second. If you have suggestions of other things you'd like to throw in at the 11th hour into the dish, just to take it up a notch. doesn't require any cooking. Then drop in the live chat. All right, here's another one. Artichoke hearts. I really love throwing in artichoke hearts. You may not think about this. And this, again, is also very cheap. It looks like a big bottle. It's sort of heavy to hold. It, it looks like it's expensive. It's not. And it goes a long time. Once you open it up, you refrigerate it, just like the capers. Once you open it up, you put it in the back of the refrigerator. And you'll need, you know, one artichoke heart for an entire meal if you cut it up. Throw it into the frying pan at the end of the cooking process for the fish, the poultry, not so much the meats. And it's great. It is really, really wonderful. Your salmon dish, your cod, you, your friends are going to say, wow, who told you how to do that? A stimulus channel. <clears throat> a financial news channel. Financial news is now covering artichokes. When, when, when is the artichoke going to land on my bank account? <laughs> Never. All right, let's go to some sardines. <laughs> We're bringing it in with some olive oil. Smoked sardines with olive oil. Really great. Now, people don't often think about this as something to keep in the pantry. Again, it's very, very cheap. And this is where you sort of, you know, people are just rushing over. You're like, I don't have anything ready to give these people. Just get some toast, make some toast, and just rub a little bit of olive oil on top of that toast, on that olive, on that, uh, on that toast of olive oil. Uh, and do sort of your own version of bruschetta. Maybe, maybe you have some little Parmesan cheese sitting around. Maybe you have a little bit of uh, tomato paste. We've featured tomato paste and uh, sun-dried tomatoes before on this channel. Or maybe you spread some sardines on it just really quickly. And everyone's going to be saying, you're very luxurious, aren't you? When did you become so luxurious with sardines? No, I just watched it all night. I just had it right in the pantry. <clears throat> and they're great. Again, very cheap. These are just quick fixes to solve the situation when you don't have a lot of time to prepare for anything very elaborate, you just throw it together. Let me jump in the live chat right now and interact with you and see some of your questions. Let me see what stuff you throw in the pantry at the 11th hour. And then if you have questions about stimulus, I will be, ooh, uh, uh, I, I will answer that as well. Thank you for that, um, Brenda Linton. Very, very kind. For the dancing pair. I think it's a dancing pair. I see it as a as a red and green, but I will do a dancing pair for that. Thank you, Brenda Linton, for that wonderful dancing pair. Uh, let's see some of the comments. Uh, uh, what would lobster shorts look like? We don't want to know that, Sandy. <laughs> uh, let's see some more of the comments. Um, <laughs> how long do you cook the lobster shorts for? Never mind. Oh, you never cook the lobster shorts. Uh, you, you, actually, you, you, you burn them. <laughs> you don't cook on them. You burn them. And you throw them away. Uh, take uh, Who here's dragon? Uh, Dragon says, take capers and put them on Ritz crackers. Oh, <laughs> I would drop them. <laughs> I'm just visualizing that. Put the capers on the Ritz cracker. I would just drop them. I don't know how to do that. Uh, they would just roll off. Um, Georgia Speaks says, yum, artichokes. People love artichokes. People just don't think to throw artichokes in things. And it's a great quick throw on across the board. Um, and... I opened a can of our anchovies in a movie theater. No bueno. <laughs> so sardines in a movie theater. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you have to be careful about that. Uh, Dragon says, any of those items LA says you can put on any type of cracker, make some yum. Yeah. Um, sardines on a cracker. Oh, incredible. Uh, the Tostitos, I, I just use Tostitos on everything. Now, it, 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 uh, it is very cheesy, so you have to worry about your digestive tract sometimes. But I used to love putting this on pork chops. Oh, my goodness. On top of pork chops at the very end. Oh, you have, you have no idea. Um, uh, I, I like putting this with hot sauce, so I bring it cheesy and then hot. Uh, yeah, it, there's no end for it. <laughs> what the heck is a caper? Oh, I like that question. So that's from Bob Bacon. What is a caper? So here, Bob, is a caper. Um, it, they're very, very small. They're very, very salty, spicy, and they're absolutely delicious. 
Um, it is a, uh, this this bottle I'm holding is a product of, of, of Turkey and Morocco. Uh, it's shipped in, and capers are capers. They are what's the ingredient list? Uh, what's the ingredient of a caper? A caper. <laughs> it's not very complicated, but boy, you should try it. Um, Paula says yes to artichokes, no for sardines. Yeah, so this is very interesting. People um, are polarized generally when it comes to sardines because it's it's an acquired taste for some people. But artichokes, people like artichokes. Now, I don't like too much artichokes. I think too much artichokes sometimes it's it's sort of an overwhelming flavor. But um, uh, oh, here's Anne with an uh, with a, a, de a definition for a caper for Bobby. Uh, a caper is a pickled juniper berry. <laughs> And to the rescue with the definitions. <laughs> uh, one person, I think it was Dragon yesterday, I think. Was it Dragon or Bob Bacon? Uh, said they had watched the Home Stream Stimulus show about taking your nuts and sweetening them before using them on stuff. And they said they went and did it that day and they loved it. Yeah, it's a great idea. I think we always have to think outside of the box. That video was talking about taking nuts and sweetening them with butter and uh, and um, lemon extract or vanilla extract and sweeten them before you add them into stuff. And that's what I'm, we're really trying to do in this video is we're saying, hey, you are already making something. Let's throw something at the 11th hour and suddenly it's a much more luxurious dish. Or let's say you're not cooking something, but people are rushing over and you don't have anything ready. Then these are sort of these sort of topical, I guess you would say. They go on top of things you can throw on top of things and instantly have no food ready for anyone and suddenly you can just sort of brush these things on here so and you see sort of the reaction some people say i love cheese <laughs> we used to have a lot of videos about cheese on the channel everyone loves cheese and not so many people like um sardines but it appears like the consensus is people really like the artichokes very interesting so that shows you how maybe you you gauge and keep a little bit of everything in the in the cabinet a dragon says you could put a mixture of sardines and capers on the crackers. <laughs> Dragon's going with the, with the crackers. Just, just always with the crackers. I'm going to the toast. He's going back to the, she's going back to the crackers. <laughs> Walnut sweetened makes great butter. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Uh, now you're cheesing the dip up with jalapenos and green olives. Okay, so Bob Bacon is taking, uh, Bob has a good point. So now you, you know, I said, hey, people are rushing over the house. You got to throw something out on the table to eat. But Bob's taking up, uh, up an extra notch, which I love. He says, so take the cheese dip. This is what Bob is talking about. Take the cheese dip. Add in jalapenos and green olives. Yeah. Now, I like um, I like the red, I like the black olives for this one, I'll, I'll say. I like black olives. I think they are much, I don't know. Uh, the green olives I sometimes don't give me the punch that the black black olives I can always no matter what brand it is it's going to come in tasting great pitted I don't have time to pit it uh pitted and just throw it in there and boy is that good I mean if you have people looking at black olives and and cheese sauce I don't care what is on they're going to be happy campers across the board capers on, on baked salmon yes and that's what I do absolutely capers are great for your uh fish uh, Sandy made lasagna and my, uh, mozzarella cheese was spoiled. Oh no. I had to use sharp cheddar cheese. Oh, there you go. Things are getting fishy in here now, says John Thompson. The fish is fishing. <laughs> did the vote happen? Uh, the vote did not happen, Lisa. So you have questions about Ukraine, Russia, questions about stimulus, jump in the live chat. I'll answer those questions as well. Um, trying to get the artichoke on my salmon, like the salmon. Uh, yeah, so you can do artichokes on all your fish dishes. All your fish dishes. It's it's made for the fishes. The fish are fishing. Yes, the fish are fishing. And the vote did not happen. Seven layer dip. Oh, okay, Paula's bringing it, another law. <laughs> Bring it to another level. Bob starts on multiple levels of that um, of that dip, and now she's doing seven olives. Seven layers. Uh, Paula loves black olives as well. Yeah, I, I, I almost brought it on set, and I thought... I'm gonna leave black olives for another another uh, installment. Um, some people say uh, some things are acquired taste. Yeah, I think when we're talking about the sardines, we do have an acquired taste. We have a lot coming up on today's recordings. Boy, we have a lot. We have um, first of all the the price of Brent crude. Biden's trying to keep it hundred dollars a gal a barrel. It, it may push higher. 
He wants it down to 94, but I don't know if he's going to get there by releasing the strategic reserves. How long can we stay at the current levels at $100 a barrel? I'll explain that on Afternoons I Like coming up at 3, at 3 o'clock today. Are the concerns that Brent at that the price of oil could go to $130 a barrel? There are. And when would that concern manifest itself? All the latest details on that as well. It's very, very important for you to know this price. We're going to be staying on this price point for a while because this impacts your wallet. Uh, more about that funding bill, the continuing resolution, and why the great news from Leahy is he's keeping the White House uh, and everyone else at bay and saying, stay away from this. We've negotiated this price. We're not moving on it. Shift, whose House, House, House Intelligence Chair, is happy with that. When looking at the Russian sanctions and Ukraine funding, they want that separate. You want it separate. You don't want it near your money. I have the latest breaking details on that. Plus, of course, those big numbers that came in from uh, the preferred core PCE measure raising 5.2% a year to day, the highest since 1983, folks. It's huge. I'll be analyzing that on Afternoons LA as we look and see whether in five means of the FOMC, the Federal Reserve, this year, starting just a few days from now, it's next week, whether we see five interest rates in five meetings, my predictions we will, will the first meeting be a half basis points, ouch, or a quarter basis point? It was supposed to be a half, many thought, until Ukraine and Russia, but may, mount, but may come in at a quarter. We also have the issue of whether they're going to do seven rate spikes in five meetings. This all impacts you folks. I'll explain to you why in the second half of this video. Then we'll be looking back at the big money I want you to get today. It's third stimulus. And viewers like Nisi and Brian and Bob Gotten. Money, I want you to get the money. And on Afternoons LA, I go in tied with my viewers. I know you by name. I see you in the live chat. And I know you got this money from Third Simmons before earlier last year. Late last year, I want you to get another round of it as well. We got a brand new Evenings LA tonight at 5 o'clock as well. Stay with this video. If you're watching it live at 11 a.m., you're now teed up to watch the 1 o'clock Afternoons LA show coming up next. And if you're watching the show at 7 o'clock, you're going into Evenings Extra after that. And with that, I want you part of this incredible family. So subscribe. Like this video and become a member. We got a lot of shows and we have a lot of breaking news. I will be on top of everything about Russia and Ukraine with you all weekend long. Stay with me because these are the tense moments in which many wonder if Russia will be able to take the country of Ukraine by the weekend. If it doesn't, then what? And if it does, then the next issue is, is there another country on target for Russia the week after? We'll be looking back at your money that Joseph Biden says he wants it all go out right away, including these adult automatic stimulus checks. These adult automatic stimulus checks, Build Back Better Act, CR for Stimulus, and more, all being covered in today's video. I have all those incredible details. Remember, when you're looking at the landscape of news reporting right today, if you're flipping through your TV channels right now, they're talking about Supreme Court nominee. I'm not covering that. They may talk, be talking about the forces on the ground in Russia and Ukraine. Follow me on Twitter. I am retweeting official statements from the Ukrainian ministry and Ukraine Defense Forum. You can translate them under each tweet. There's a button that says translate it. I won't be covering it on this channel. But understand that all your big money is still going out. It's just not going to get coverage as much on broadcast media because there's a lot of other events unfolding, but it will be covered here. Stay with me, Sam Farm, and I'll see you next on Allied.